Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors. Today, I am fishing a smaller creek, um, looking for some wild fish, uh, maybe some holdover stocked fish. Uh, this is an approved trout water, so it is stocked, uh, but it also has a couple Class A wild trout sections. Um, not totally sure if I'm in one of those sections right now, but it's not that long of a creek. Um, I know there's wild fish throughout, which might not be Class A. Um, fished, uh, spent the morning fish fishing a bigger creek, and it was just really fast. Water was ripping. Um, they got some rain this week, but this creek looks nice. Um, we we'll chucking a spinner around, see what we can do. missed it and then he still was chasing he had it in his mouth there for a second can I get him to bite again ah it was a brown too looked like a good one not sure where he got Shoot, that was the first chance at one. Damn. Oh, got one. There we go. He missed it like four times, but is that a brookie? That's a little brookie, I think. a little brookie. Hey buddy. So there we go. Nice little brookie. Little fatty. That's awesome. Such a pretty fish. He is hiding under my leg right now. But uh, that's awesome because I did see a brown already. Um, so that's cool that there's both species here. There we go, let's keep it going. There's another one. I think it's another brookie. Yes it is, and it's not a bad one either. Yeah, definitely a better one. Solid fish. Got unhooked there in the net. Gotta love that. Really little guy. He's got a male. Or he is a male, I should say. No, he has a male. There we go. Oop, dropped him. But very cool, very cool. I love little brookies, they're so cool. Hopefully we can keep this riding. There's a fish. A little brownie. Very nice. Ah, shoot. Oh, there he goes. That was kind of a mess. My net got caught here, but a little wild brown. So there we go. We've got the browns and the brooks. Keep it rolling. Ooh, big brookie, or big brown, sorry. I thought it was a big brookie at first, but it's a okay brown.
That's a good one too. Nice, uh, nice colors. So there we go. Beautiful, beautiful brown trout. Look at that. Awesome colors. So there's this little, if you can see, there's a little, little pocket right in there between all these logs. Just kind of pitched the spinner in and brought it up. Came up and grabbed it. Yes. All right, guys, just a quick update. Uh, switch streams. I ran out of uh, public land at the first stream, which is a shame because it was such a nice creek. Brooks and Browns. Um, but this is supposed to be similar, Brooks and Browns. It looks like it's a lot tighter, a lot of rhododendrons, unfortunately, but uh, we'll do our best, see if we can catch a couple fish out here. Got one. Oh, it's nice brown. Got him. Nice. It's a good brown. I'm gonna bring him around here. I thought I saw one that first cast. I was hoping there's fish in here. Fished a couple, couple pools with no, no luck. But finally got this guy. Just got him. Barely hooked. But it's pretty, pretty fish. Very nice brown. Let's get him back into this deep little pool here where he was sitting. Pretty fish, that's what's up, let's go. Ooh, just missed one. Shoot, he came up, followed it up and just barely nipped it. Let's see if I can get him to go again. little guy and it's not an easy stream to fish um, if you can see these rhododendrons hanging over they're like a freaking maze sometimes it always seems that they always seem to be along a super fast moving creek and just tough to tough to walk through. If you've ever fished through rhododendrons, you know what I'm talking about. It can be a giant pain. But we're snaking our way around here. Should be able to find some other fish at some point. Hopefully. Ooh, there we go. Not a bad one came out of nowhere yes that's a good fit oh there he goes well I wanted to give you guys a better look there but he slipped right out that's awesome good brown for sure especially for as small as this creek is but this creek it's not very wide but it has a ton of water it's pumping pretty good i know when it gets deep it has the potential you know to hold a very big fish so see if we can find one i would love to catch a, a nice like 16 17 inch wild brown out of here It'd be so sick Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video. 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but in front of me is a giant cave of rhododendrons, and I am not going to be able to get through that. I'm pretty much surrounded by them right now. Um, I mean, if you can see all around me here, it's just all rhododendrons, and it's just getting a little too tight, losing daylight. Um, fish a lot of good pockets I thought would hold fish, but I don't know if there's just not a whole lot in here. Um, but, you know, we did okay. I think it was a pretty successful day. Uh, this video and my previous video were both from today. Caught about a dozen trout today, so not bad. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, if you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on SC Outdoors.